you. What a wonderful day to be alive and well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome to Wonders Without Number. My time has come. Amen. 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 Time has come. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 102 and verse 13, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the said time is come. That is where we coined that from. It is from the scriptures, from the word of the Lord. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. The set time for miracles, the set time for favor, Amen. the set time for laughter Amen. is come. I believe God with you today. We're going to have a wonderful time to go into some warfare prayers and believe in God for an outburst of overflow in your life. Amen. You will never remain the same again. Amen. The Bible says in Job 9 verse 10 that God doeth great things past finding out. Yea, wonders without number. He said to Samuel, he said, Samuel, I'll do a thing in Israel. First Samuel 3 11. That the ears, the both ears of them that yea shall tingle. I'm telling you, God wants to do some great things in our life. And the ears of them that ye shall tingle. It's going to be so powerful, Amen. so dynamic, Amen. standing Amen. out of this world. Amen. We are in the generation of the manifestation of the power of God. Wickedness is on the increase. Demonic inventions all over the world. And anytime wickedness is on the increase, Satan is on the proud to afflict, to attack, to inflict. God also increases the anointing increases it's not going to leave us at the mercy of the enemy it increases the grace it increases the passion to be able to tackle the forces of the end time and that is why god raised up wonders without number it's an avenue to get people intimate with him to get them mingled with the holy spirit that they get to a point they're not even talking about their problems being solved they're talking about getting intimate with god where our lives have been affected Homes are coming together. Finances turn around. Why? Because God has a plan. Right where you are, I need you to be excited. If you are part of Wonders Without Number, if you are part of this family, I need you to be excited because God has you in mind and He will not fail you. Amen. Right now, as we do, touch the like button. Right now touch the like button and begin to share the link share the link to as much people if you've never shared the link before or you share the link once in a while today go out of your way just keep sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing share and share and share and share and share let people ask you what's happening today you are sharing too much touch the like button tell everyone around you to do the same thing tell them my did them say do the same thing because when i'm preaching the gospel and you are Touching the like button. Because when you touch the like button, the video pops up for someone else to be blessed. We are doing the same thing. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 30 and verse 24, the last phrase, as a part of he that, that goes forth to battle, so is the part of he that tarries by the stuff, they shall part alike. As a part of he that goes forth to battle, so is the part of he that tarries by the stuff, as the part of the man who is spearheading the battle. So also, as that man gets a reward, so also the one who stays back to take out the flock and make sure that things are okay, they shall part alike. They will get the same part. They will get the same reward. So touch the like button now. It's our duty to turn many to righteousness. According to Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10. And Daniel chapter, you know, Daniel chapter 12, I always told us, the Bible said, they that be wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. And as many as turn, as and those that turn many to righteousness. So God wants us to enjoy illumination as the stars right now touch the like button and we are going to begin to pray we are going to begin to pray. is our hope that's the only defense we have that's the only strength we have psalm 34 verse 5 said they look up to him and their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed when you look up to god in his word and you locate a revelation from the word of the lord in this revelation you see the revelation of your own revolution in this revelation, you contact the revelation of your own revolution. Okay? It says in Psalm 36 verse 9, With thee, O Lord, is the fountain of life. For in thy light shall we see light. 
in your light here this one is your light shall we see our own light when you want direction in life get illumination from here in thy light shall we see light you can't see your light unless you contact his light that's what he wants to say Call somebody if you're watching on television right now and tell them wonders without number is on the air. It's a privilege. This is an act of God for us to take our time to pray and see the face of God. I'm believing God with you today. And my faith is enlarged. My heart is open for what Jesus has set out to do. And I know someone is going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. As we take a prayer today, as we seek the face of God in the place of prayer, I consider some from the word of the Lord, and I'm believing God is going to bless you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are God and God alone. You are not a man, you never lie. Ancient throne about to you. Your majesty none can replace. You never lie, yo. you never fail. Yo. Jesus Christ is the name. Oh, you are God and God alone. You're not a man, you never fail. Patient throne about to you. Your majesty none can replace. You never lie, yo. you never fail. Yo. Jesus Christ is the name. Oh, you are God and God alone. You're not a man, you never fail. Patient throne about to you. Your majesty none can replace you. You never lie, you, you never fail to. Jesus Christ is the name. Oh, you are God and God alone. You're not a man, you never fail. This and throne about to you. Your majesty none can replace you. You never lie, you, you never fail. To. Jesus Christ is the name. Oh, I call you faithful. I call you gracious. I call you overcomer every good thing that is who you are i call you faithful i call you gracious i call you overcomer every good thing that is who you are i call you faithful i call you gracious i call you overcomer Every good thing that is who you are. I call you faithful, gracious. I call you overcomer. Every good thing that is who you are. I call you faithful. I call you gracious. I call you overcomer. Every good thing that is who you are. 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 That is who the good thing that is who you are. Every good thing that is who you are. Every good thing that is who you are. Every good thing that is who you are.
I call you faithful. I call you gracious. I call you overcomer. Every good that is good. I call you faithful. I call you gracious. I call you overcomer. Every good that is good. Every good thing that is who you are. 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 I call you faithful. You are gracious. I call you overcomer. Every good thing that is who you are. I call you faithful. I call you gracious. I call you overcomer. Every good thing that is who you are. 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 Every good thing that is what you've done. Every good thing that is who you are. We bless your holy name. You are the Lamb of God. Oh, be you the Lamb. The precious Lamb of God. Why you love me so that I shall never know. Precious Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb. You are the precious Lamb of God. Born into sin that I might live again. Precious Lamb of God. Oh, be you. The Lamb, you are the precious Lamb of God. Why you love me so that I shall never know, precious Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb. The precious Lamb of God Born into sin that I might live again Precious Lamb of God Glory to the Lamb the precious Lamb of God Why you love me so I shall never know Precious Lamb of God Glory to the Lamb The precious Lamb of God born into sin that I may live again the precious Lamb of God oh, oh bless your name Bless your name. Bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. 
bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. This song has just been playing in my spirit. Crucified, laid behind the stone. You live to die, rejected and alone. Like a rose, trampled on the ground, you took the fall. God of me, above all, crucified, baby, I understood. Shattered and alone Like a rose Trampled on the ground You took the fall And thoughts of me Above all Like a rose Trampled on the ground you took the fall Thoughts of me Above all Like a rose That was trampled on the ground You took the fall Thoughts of me Above all, and like a rose trampled on the ground, you took the fall and thought of me. Above all, and like a rose. You were trampled on the ground You took the fall Thoughts of me Above all Like a rose Trampled on the ground You took the fall In charge of me, in above all, laga laga la da ga ba la ga da ba la ga da la ga. Ege de bra ga da 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 bra ga da. Ege de bra ga da bra ga da ya ga da zika. Ege de ege de shaka. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. There is a glory. God is removing your shame. Amen. Amen. Your pain is turned to gain. Amen. Amen. Your shame is turned to fame because of his name. Amen. Amen. Can we just take this song once? Holy Ghost. Do it again. Do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. I sing, Holy Ghost, do it again. I say, do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus, who is seated upon 
that song. We sing it one more time. Holy Ghost, do it again. I say, do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus who is seated upon. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. I love this. Exodus 3 21. I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when they when ye go, ye shall not go empty. I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Shall come to pass that when you go, you will not go empty. Amen. When you go out of Egypt to serve the Lord, because you are saved to serve, don't forget, it's let my people go that they may serve me. When you go out of Egypt to serve the Lord, he said, you will not go empty. You can't serve God and be empty handed. You can't be serving a, a, a bountiful God. And be empty handed. When you go. You will not go empty. So God is saying. For all the years of trouble. Of pain. Of turbulence. That will give you favor in the sight of the Egyptian. That when you shall go. Out of Egypt. To serve me. You will not go empty. I decree. I receive it. Whatever has made you empty handed. In your serving God. You have been a believer for years and there's nothing to show. Today, that yoke of empty-handedness is broken. Amen. Amen. The prayer of the oh Lord, I am serving you. I break the yoke of empty-handedness. Amen. Amen. I am serving you. I break the yoke of empty-handedness. Amen. Amen. There was a man in the Bible called Jacob. Jacob was serving God through his father. Father brought them to this world. Esau was his twin brother. But we know the story of what transpired. Jacob had to run out of his father's house. He ran to the house of his, un of his uncle, the mother's brother. Rebecca was his mother. When the mother said, you should leave town, he said, go to my brother's house and stay there. He stayed with a man called Laban. And Laban dealt with him. Laban dealt with him. Finally, he served Laban for 14 years to get married to his daughters. He loved Rachel when he saw Rachel. Laban was a con man. Was a con man. Jacob actually thought he was conny until he met Laban. That was when Jacob knew that he met trouble. He thought he was crafty. When he met Laban, he knew that he knew nothing about being crafty. Laban dealt with him. When you see a crafty man call somebody crafty, then that's crafty raised to power 100. Jacob saw a crafty man. Jacob was a supplanter. and said, ah, this man is crafty. Laban, Jacob saw Rachel and liked her. And Laban said, well, to get a, get, make her your wife, you have to serve me for 11 years. Look at that diary. Uh, you know, in, the, in this part of the world, some people blame in Nigeria especially, and some other places like South Africa, they have what they call the labola or something like that. And in Nigeria, they have what they call the dowry, the bride price. And people are complaining over certain tribes like the Easterners. They say they pay too much money. That what they pay is too high for bride price and dowry. If you think the Easterners in Nigeria pay too much, then you need to ask Jacob. Jacob paid seven years. The Easterners only pay money and pay and buy some stuff. Seven years. Laboring. For Rachel. On the, <laughs> Jacob loved Rachel and said, I will serve these seven years for Rachel, the younger daughter. Okay? But what happened is this. When it was time for him to get married, the father said, I'll bring your wife to you at night. He brought the lady and covered her face. And Jacob was so in a hurry. After seven years of waiting, the lady got into the house and he went into her. My problem is, 
Who goes into somebody without looking at her face? And the Bible says he went into her and found out. Bring up that scripture. Bring up the last one again. It came to pass in the evening. He took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to him and he went into her. Well, how crazy can he be? And that's why I tell people not to marry at night. Don't marry at night because you will not be sure of who you marry. Don't marry in the dark. Don't marry at night. It's, it's, a, it's a deep statement. Don't marry who you don't see. Most people who marry in proxy. The man is in America. The woman is in London. The man is in Tanzania. The ladies in this. They've never met themselves. They get married. I, I, now, God works in mysterious ways. But most times, I really do not encourage that. I tell them, even if it means you people talking on the phone all the time, relate. Don't just see a photograph and you see a photograph and both of you just get married. I say, establish a communication. Not, I've never spoken to him. They are fixing the word. I say, no. Establish a communication. Both of you should be talking. Talking, communicate. So, from there, you start understanding temperament. You understand, you ask questions. You know things. Even though some of them, it might not be honest, she might not be honest, but ask questions. Find out. Anyway. Jacob served and married Richard. married Leah. And Jacob, you know, Jacob to me was a desperate man. To me, I, I was worried that he was ready to serve for Rachel for another seven years. And I asked myself, the first time I studied that, I asked myself a question. What made Joseph think that after that seven years, at night again, they would not bring the cousin? If the first one they brought was the sister, the, the man is crafty. He said, fulfill that week, fulfill that week, and I will give thee also after the service which thou shalt serve me with yet seven or that. So another seven years, for 14 years. And for six years, look at this. Seven years is served for Leah. Seven years is served for Richard. Six years is served for Catons. If you read Genesis 31, 41. For seven years, Rachel. Seven years, Leah. Okay, watch this now. He said, Thus, I have been 20 years in thy house. I served thee 14 years for thy two daughters. That's seven years each. Six years for thy cattle. That's 14 plus 6, 20. And yet thou hast changed my wages seven, 10 times. If they have an agreement, let me just make it, let me just encapsulate it. If they have an agreement that this is what they are to pay, when it's getting to the end of the month, Laban will look for something. And then we said to, say to Jacob, you did this, you did this. You are owing me. Jacob said, ah, ah. And he does it in such a way that Jacob cannot rego himself out of it. It will be true. Let's balance account. Let's balance account. How much did you lose? How much is this? This is what I was supposed to pay you. This is what you have lost. This is what is left. In fact, you are owing me. But because you are my sister's son, let me give you something. Ten times. Jacob said, ah, I'm leaving. And this is my emphasis. If you read verse 42, he said, thou hast sent me away empty that's the reason i gave this whole background story he said except the god of my father the god of abraham and the fear of isaac had be with me surely thou hast sent me away now empty it 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 is offensive to serve god to serve in the house of god and be empty and dead to be an usher a protocol a choir member a minister and you look at your life, there is nothing to show. It's a cry before the Almighty God. God is not happy with it. God is grieved when he sees believe our empty and dead. Look at a woman like Naomi. Naomi had a husband. I believe his name was Elimelech. He had two sons, Marlon and Chilon. The word Marlon means sickness. The word Chilon means dying. I don't know how somebody can give his, his children sickness and death. And the Bible said the children actually became sick till they died. Some of you under the sound of my voice have got to change your name. The name of the man was Elimelech, the, and the, the name of the wife Naomi, the name of his two sons, Marlon and Chilon. Marlon means sickness, Chilon means dying. Change your name. What's the meaning of your name? What's the meaning of your soul name? Check the meaning. Check the meaning. Check the meaning of your name. I have to check the meaning of my name. Suleiman is Arabic. It means Solomon. Wisdom. Johnson means the son of grace. I have to check the meaning. So what does it mean? John Suleiman, the son of grace, has wisdom. What's the meaning of your name? 
And when you hear people, most times, bear names. They don't know that name is prophetic. When you call a person's name, you are giving, the, you are, you are giving direction to the person's life. She lost her husband. Limelech died. Malon died. Chilon died. And in verse 21 of Ruth chapter 1, the Bible says, she said, I lacked full, but the Lord has made me empty. Emptiness is what we want to attack. Oh Lord, I'm serving you. I reject empty-handedness. Amen. Amen. The spirit that makes men empty-handed, I reject you. Amen. Amen. I am serving you. The spirit that make men empty-handed, I reject it. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, I am serving you. The spirit that makes men empty-handed, I reject it. Amen. Oh Lord, I am serving you. The spirit that makes men empty-handed, I reject it. Amen. Oh Lord, I'm serving you. I like you to type right now on your page. I I will not be empty-handed. I will not be empty-handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not be empty-handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not be being a graduate for years and having no job is being empty-handed. Being due for marriage and not married is being empty-handed. Being married and don't have a child is being empty-handed. There should be something to show. I will not be empty-handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not be empty-handed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I will not be empty-handed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I will not be empty-handed. Empty Amen. Empty Amen. Type that on your WhatsApp story. Type that on your Instagram. Type that on your Facebook. Type that on YouTube. As we go into prayers right now. I am serving you. The spirit that makes men empty-handed, I reject you. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, my father, my father. My, my father, my father. Shout it loud and clear. My, my father, father, my father. Let the enemy hear your voice. My, my father, father, my father. father. In the name of Jesus. 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 As I begin to pray. As as begin to pray. pray. Oh Lord, I'm serving you. Oh Lord, I'm serving you. The spirit that makes men empty-handed. The spirit that makes men empty-handed. I reject you. I reject you. Oh Lord, I'm serving you. Oh Lord, I'm serving you. That spirit that makes men empty and dead. That spirit that makes men empty and dead. I reject you. Je te reject you. Oh Lord, I'm serving you. Oh Dieu, je te serve. That spirit that makes men empty and dead. That spirit that makes men empty and dead. I reject you. Je te reject you. I 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 reject you. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Ya la 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 la
And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass. And when you go, you shall not go. Give me favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Yeah. Amen. Give me favor. What does it mean for God to give you favor in the sight of the Egyptians? God dispossesses them. That's what it means. You can see that in Exodus 12, 36, when the Bible said the Egyptians lent to them more than, as much as they wanted and they spoiled the Egyptians. That's what it means to get favor. For, you know, the Bible says in Isaiah 61, verse 6, that the riches of the Gentiles is the wealth of the hidden. It says, and he shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of God. He shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. And in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. Let them keep acquiring. Let them keep amassing. God is going to turn it around in your favor. Yes. Amen. Give me favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Yes. Amen. Many of you under the sound of my voice. You will buy expensive things cheaply. Yes. Amen. You'll be surprised. Somebody will call you to buy a full build in a house at a very meager price. Amen. Amen. That's what it means to get favor in the sight of the Egyptians. To spoil the Egyptians. Some of you will buy cars, will buy lands, will buy property Amen. at a giveaway price. Amen. Amen. They will need money urgently and the amount they are looking for will be in your hand and you will buy it. Amen. Amen. I gave a, a, a general prophetic word like this in church one day. And said to them, some of you will buy lands a hundred thousand naira. I said it, and the hundred thousand naira is like a hundred and eighty dollars. Even less, it's even yes, it's, it's two hundred, yeah, two, about two hundred dollars, a hundred and eighty dollars thereabout for a land, a plot of land. I said that. I just said it openly that some of you buy land for a hundred thousand naira. Some of you buy, who buys the land for two hundred dollars? But when God is speaking, the riches of the Gentiles. A young man gave testimony. You may have seen the celebration on TV. How somebody was so stranded and said he wants to dispose his land. And he asked the person, How much? The person mentioned, What if I have a hundred thousand naira with me? The man looked at him. He said, Bring it. Ah. The young man paused. So that thing Papa said in church is true. It's what if I have fifty thousand? Fifty thousand is less than a hundred dollars. It's like ninety dollars. The man said, mm, Bring it. He counted it and gave the man. And the man gave him documents of a land. And he was confused. What's going on here? That is riding on the wings of prophecy. 
getting favor in the sight of the Egyptians means that they will be stranded and they will have a need and you will have that exact amount. You will get great things cheaply. Amen. Amen. So you take this prayer for five minutes with all, with all anger in your system. December will not end. There are properties you don't have as I speak now. But before December, the way they will come, the only tears you will share will be tears of joy. Amen. People will say great things cheaply. Amen. One of my sons was telling me in Ghana how he's a mechanic engineer. He needed to get a shop. You know, he needed to get a shop and all of that. And the shop was looking for was also a mega shop, a local shop. He could start raising boys. And he connected the one that without number. I've told him to do a video and even send the video of the shop. He connected to one that's without number. And God shocked him. A man whose wife was working right there in Accra got an opening to go to Germany. So they got all their visas fixed. And the man owes an auto company, you know, an, a mechanical company. This one is not just a local one. They have machines to test vehicles, to do this, to do that. Some have God made their paths cross, their paths cross. And the man said, Anything you have, I'm leaving. He said, I don't understand. Anything you have, he said, I'm leaving. Told him, I said, I don't have anything, no. My whole account, everything is about 10,000 Ghana cities. Man, look, mm, bring it, bring it, bring it. Now, Ghanaians know what 10,000 Ghana cities is. That's what full, I mean, the, prop, the CFO of the, of the land, the machines to examine, you know, vehicles, to check what is wrong and all that. What does that mean? The riches of the Gentiles. The riches of the Gentiles. You will buy expensive things cheaply. Yeah. Yeah. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray, father, que je prie. Pray, give me favor. Don't give me favor. favor. On the sight of the Egyptians. Au niveau des Egyptians. Give me favor. Give me favor. On the sight of the Egyptians. Give me favor. Open your mouth and fire prayers right now. Do va, do va, do va, do va, do va. Salut, 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 salut,
Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Connect your faith to my faith. I connect. Right where you are. Right where you are. I receive it. I make a declaration. I receive it. From today, you will no more be empty handed. Amen. From today, you will no more be empty handed. Amen. I decree that God give your life substance. Amen. God give your life substance. Amen. May the blessings of God upon you draw people into the knowledge of Jesus. Amen. May it attract people into the knowledge of Christ. Amen. Connect your faith to my faith. I, I connect. Somebody has something in the heart. There's a heart problem. Somebody having a heart problem. That heart problem, God is taking care of it. Amen. Somebody gave birth by, by caesarean session and since they've been having problems, God is taking off that attack now. Amen. There's someone, you have a bookstore. You have a bookstore. And you're about packing up this bookstore because it's not, it's not, it's not profiting you. You're not making progress at all. And you want to pack up the bookstore. God said, don't. God said, don't. Dry bones shall rise again. Yeah. Yeah. I see a music artist. You have done four singles. None of them saw the light of the day. And God just gave you a song. You're thinking of going back to the studio to record this song. But you are so disappointed because the previous four have not done well. And you are discouraged. God said, no. This fifth song is about to announce the other four ones. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. This fifth song is going to project you all over the country. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. All over the country. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. All over the country. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Wherever you are. It's going to use this one to project you. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. Someone by the name of Sylvester. I'm seeing you sitting down with your wife right now. And there's an issue in your wife's family that demands her to travel. They're calling her to come. Please don't let your wife go. 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 It's very urgent, they said. It's very important, they said. Don't let your wife go. Don't let her fall into a trap. Because I see her as she stands up, a light goes off. And darkness means death. Don't let her go. There's a woman who's worried about her son. She's not heard from him for a long time. She's always holding the picture. This child, Lord, where is this child? I decree right now Amen. let the Lord God connect the both of you. Amen. Amen. There's somebody in Australia you're in the sound of my voice and you are not well very critical. I decree that the hand of the Lord touch that body now. Amen. I'm seeing over 300 people I'm seeing incomplete houses. Incomplete houses. 